What's up guys, Skinner Rampage here. So today we are headed over to Tampa Bay Comic Con here. I'm actually like fresh off of SDCC just a week ago, but I'm very excited for this day. The Flash cast is gonna be there and that is my main reason for coming. And it's also really hot today. I, I don't think it could be hotter in Florida today. It's almost 100 degrees out, or it feels like that anyways. So we should have a lot of fun here. We're gonna see some Funko Pops, go hunting, and just kind of show you guys around the event. I might also come back tomorrow as well. We'll see what happens, but let's go Funko Pop hunting and see what we can find. Guys, I don't know if you can see it, but I'm literally like sweating just from walking up to the event. Like it is that hot out here. So insane, I cannot wait to get inside. <laughs> All right guys, so we have officially made it in. That was a long time. It took about maybe almost half an hour to get in. The convention is behind me, so let me show you guys inside. Okay, so right off the bat, it is just insane in here already. It's all one big hall, no separate halls, I don't think at least. And as you can see, there's a lot of people. Not as bad as I thought it was gonna be inside though. Okay, so I was just actually checking out Grant Gustin's line because I do really wanna get his autograph today. If I can't get uh, Danielle and uh, Cisco's autograph, then I'll try that tomorrow. But he is the main focus there. And his line, I think, is capped right now, unfortunately, because there is a lot of people that wanna see him. So it says to kind of come back at 4.30, so here's hoping. Okay, so while we're waiting and before we go Funko Pop hunting, we're actually gonna jump into Chris Sabat's line because I wanna get something for the upcoming 100K giveaway I have for you guys. Also, maybe we can get him to say hi in the video, hopefully. All right, guys, so I got him to say hi. He's very busy, but... I'm always busy, but I will always take time for you, my friend. <laughs> it's good to see you. Uh, this is in celebration of Mr. Skittles McRampagington's 100,000 followers. So thank you for tuning in. I use this person to keep me informed about what's what in the pop world. So I'm you know that you know the you... Zorro nothing happened yeah. moment? You know oh, there's yeah. a pop coming for that? No, I did not. Well, you are the there's a rumor out there, so. I believe it. <laughs> Make it happen. Because I've been drawing enough blood on these pops That's true. over the years to like... You don't have to do customs anymore. I don't have to. Uh, actually, it takes the joy away. Uh, this is what you might be winning. Actually, it says, I can smell booze. That's awesome. And I asked, had to ask him, like, do you want... I can smell booze or I can smell blood? Because within like 20 episodes, he said both of those things. Take care of yourself. Thank you Thanks so much. All right, guys, so one of our first stops is the Pop and Sons booth. Let's see if they have anything new. Okay, so they have a little bit of a Dragon Ball section over here. I'm noticing Dodoria, Kale, Goku Ultra Instinct sign, Great Saiyan Girl, and Saiyan Men. I actually need to pick up this set again. Actually, do I own this set? I might somewhere in my collection, maybe. If not, then maybe I'll pick them up again. We also have Majin Buu, still waiting for that new um, Gotenks infused Super Buu. We also have a few Zamasu, Bulma, regular Zamasu, Super Saiyan Kale, the SSGS is Goku, Frieza there. Down here, we got a ton of different Naruto ones. Lots of good stuff here. We also have some Star Wars right here. We have Han Solo Hoth, Imperial Patrol Trooper, Luke Skywalker. Is that Aiden or Eden? I think it's Eden. We also have Reva, Third Sister. Let's see, C-3PO. Ooh, that's an old Boba Fett. It's not the one with like the different text that's like very expensive, but it is old. And right here we do have a Mark Hamill Funko Pop, Rainbow Unicorn, Moss Man, Starscream, and Prince Adam. Up top here we have a couple Full Metal Alchemists. Looks like some of the newer set. We have Greed, Lust, Olivier, Riza, Scar, and the Edward Elric Chase. That's pretty cool. As well as some Inuyasha there. We have that evil Inuyasha, which is a great piece. Guys, I'm just seeing non-stop anime. Over here we have some Pokemon. We have Espeon there, the flocked one. Arcanine as well. Oh, I haven't actually seen this one in person. Let me check that out. Oh, he's, he's adorable. That's really awesome. We also have Alakazam and Scorbunny, another really great piece. Uh, Jack from Black Clover, a ton of fairy tale. You don't really see a lot of fairy tale these days from like other retailers. Some of the new stuff as well though. We also have Golden Freaks, Leorio, Proto Punk, as well as Gaia, some Hello Kitty up there. Oh, the new Scooby-Doo. Haven't seen it in person, but this is really cool. Ooh, Shia Poof, that's a great piece as well. I still actually need to pick that one up. Down here they have some really great pieces like the Doctor Strange Chase. I'm also noticing the Miles Morales Programmable Matter suit. I don't know if I have that. Oh no, I think I do actually. They also have some Evangelion, more Spider-Man, the Rocketeer, Selena Kyle Chase. Ooh, Spirit Spider, but I think I have the glow on that one. We also have Clayface here. That is actually a good piece. I don't have him. So maybe I'll pick him up today, actually, now that I think about it. I have Man-Bat and I have Batman. 
But Clayface, if he's in great shape, because I am collecting this set, I think that's a great piece to pick up. Okay, so I've shown you a lot of commons and lower-end exclusives. Here are the actual grails that they have available. Baby Milo, which you don't see every day, bait exclusive and flocked. We also do have Freddy Funko as Clown, Freddy Funko as Peter Pan. I guess that's an OG Zorro, I think. Flock Chopper. Ooh, look at that Batman versus Superman two-pack. That is nuts. The Joker Bank Robber, Catwoman, and Batwoman, or Batman, excuse me, but from the DC Universe, not the Dark Knight. Batman Alamo City. Oh, that Green Goblin piece is amazing. And they also have the Miles Morales, $160. That one just flew up, guys. Up top, we have some more One Piece. We have Gold Roger, White Beard, Black Lady is a great piece. Guillaume there. Oh, they have some Yamatos and Frankies. That's awesome. Right here, a few more higher end exclusives. We have George Sanderson, Roadrunner, Marty McFly, both of them. We also have Demogorgon, the glow in the dark 3000 piece. Oh, some of the uh, box of fun ones. We have Genji, as well as Hopper, Shaggy, and Mad Hatter. Actually, I think my friend might want this piece, so I'm gonna ask him. Down here, we have Slim, the NYCC exclusive, Neo from the original Matrix set. Oh, that Hello Kitty's great. I don't remember if Bailey has that one though, but that is one of the original Hello Kitty pops. Giyu Tomioka there, Tsunade signed. It says, from now on, I too shall bet my life. That's a great quote. Cookie Monster, that is such a great piece. Oh, I didn't realize he jumped up in price so much. Continuing on, we do have Superman from Man of Steel, Kratos, another great piece. Freddy Funko surfs up Batman, Thrill Killer Batman, a Stormtrooper is such a derpy looking one. Looks like it's one of the originals. Uh, Ken Kaneki Glow down there. Wow, his price really fell for the shared, or special, excuse me. And then we also have Goku Super Saiyan God, the two pack of Goku and Bulma, Blue Eyes White Dragon, he also fell in price. Danny Zuko, Notorious B.I.G., Anti-Venom, oh my gosh. And we also do have a flash chase over here. Overall, as you can see, just non-stop grails. I could do this all day. Guys, I am so dumb. I completely forgot Deathstroke was signing today from the Arrow show. I cannot believe I forgot that and I forgot the pop. I'm currently around looking for his pop because if not, I'm coming back tomorrow. I'm getting that man's signature. Okay, so on this first back wall, we have some art series Hulk, Phyllis Vance there, Freddy Funko as Hannibal, Freddy Funko as Danny Phantom, great piece, Batman Robot Chase, uh, Venomized Ghost Rider, Polka Dot Man, Iron Fist Gold, that's a really good one. Um, let's see, oh, they also have the regular Batman Robot. Is he a little messed up or is that just the art? I really can't tell. But they actually have that one and the Chase version. Maybe, I don't know. I'm also trying to look for that Deathstroke now. I don't know how much I want to, oh my God, they have zero. Oh, I want to see how much that is because I've been looking for that forever. Okay, so on my way out of the booth, I'm going to ask about that zero, but over here I'm noticing some Power Rangers. They have the Black Ranger, yellow, pink, another Black Ranger, pink, and the, I guess, diamond or glitter one? That's kind of cool. And then they have the yellow glitter, and another yellow glitter, and the pink glitter. God, there are so many Power Ranger pops, good lord. Up top here, we also have Jason, we have Gossamer, Imperial Guard, a Chrome Yoda, Vision, and Mikey. Ooh, I forgot there was Hey Arnold pops. That's such a great set. We also have a Grumble from the Funko Monsters line, Raphael, Daryl Dixon. Um, let's see, Warpig, that's a cool mold. Rainbow Unicorn, I don't know, there's so many pops, guys. I'm just trying to show you a little bit of everything. We have Pichu right here, flocked. Sheldon Cooper as a Flash. Bailey actually needs the Raj as uh, Aquaman. So that's the one I'm looking for for that set. Let's see, Killer Crowns, Perfect Cell. Oh, okay, so we found some Grails. I found the Grails, guys. We have Popeye down here. I think that's a Grail anyways. Kratos, the um, NYCC blue one. We also have Superman Chase, Perfect Cell, Bane. That's a great piece. The original Aquaman, or one of the original ones, Minato, Carnage, Blacklight. Oh, they got a Rukia and a Super Shadow. Just chilling. For, uh, 1,500 pieces, not in a hard stack. That is wild to me. Come on, we gotta get some extra protection for that. We also have Super Sonic right below it, Mr. Knight. We also have Freddy Funko as Batman, Juggernaut, Elton John. There's a lot of great pieces over here. Oh my gosh, we even have some metallic Beeruses here. Check that out. And below that, we have Nejire there. There's so many crazy grails here. Guys, no one has a Deathstroke. I've been to like five or six booths now. No one has it. They've all sold before I got here, and I'm so disappointed. Ah, uh, so I'm coming back tomorrow. I'm getting that man's autograph. He is the best 
interpretation of Deathstroke for me at least outside of the animated series. But yeah, I gotta come back tomorrow for that. So we'll just continue on and uh, I guess keep Funko Pop hunting. Well guys, quick update. I actually just went over to Grant Gustin's booth back at almost four o'clock now just to see if I could join in the line or buy an autograph. He is sold out of the autographs and photos and I am so bummed. <laughs> I like specifically came here for that. So that is such a huge bummer. But if I can walk away with um, Danielle and um, my God, I just keep forgetting Cisco's name. Why? I can remember everybody else's, but um, Killer Frost and Cisco, if I can walk away with those, I'll be happy. I just really want to grant because this is the first time I've ever even seen him come to Florida. Okay, so finished up with the autographs and now I found another really cool grail booth here like Kobe Bryant, Carmelo Anthony, LeBron James. Uh, Rondo there, I don't know how to pronounce his first name. Freddy Funko is Superman, 525 pieces. Great, great Funko Pop there. Now, the most important thing I found here was the Sailor, Moon, and Luna, only at Go Glitter exclusive. Bailey has been looking for this one for a while. It's just super expensive and really hard to find. I actually just texted her saying that, oh, hey, look, I found one. So I don't know, maybe we'll pick it up. But then again, that's also a lot of money to spend right now. Continuing on, we also have Indiana Jones here, Jax Teller. We have the dude from the original set, some Haunted Mansion, that's a really cool set right there. Zero Chase, Toka pre-release. We also have Darth Vader holographic, Nejire the con sticker, Tenya there, another Nejire shared, um, Pluto, Goofy in the train set, Tokyo there, and Nosuke, Steph Curry, ooh, Doctor Strange with that official sticker. Anti-Venom, Hobgoblin. There's a lot of grails here, just kind of scanning over them really quickly. Tony Stark, Walter White, and Velma, that's a pretty cool one. So that was a lot of the grails. Over here, we also have Lewis here, or Louise. I don't know how to pronounce that Disney character. You guys know, I'm not a di big Disney person. We also have Tiana there, Snow White, Ariel. Um, some Ursula's, Summer Expo, pretty cool. And then some pop music, a Tom Brady there, Notorious B.I.G., Kurt Cobain, some Kingdom Hearts, you don't see that all the time, as well as um, Tekken there, which is really nice. That one, is that the one that's been going up or was it a different one? I don't remember. Knuckles there, Chris Hardwick. We also have some Dragon Ball and Attack on Titan there, that's pretty nice. Uh, Resurrection F, Renji, Ichigo, great pieces, Ukioras. Down here, My Hero Academia, Deku and Onesie, that's a nice one. Beerus Eating Noodles, All Might Weekend. And over here, noticing some Star Wars, General Grievous, Mace Windu, Princess Leia, Boba Fett there, great piece. Just lots of good stuff here, guys. Some more Disney over here. And then we have some Coco down there, Mickey Mouse. Let's see, oh, that nice little OG Yoda. Qui-Gon Jinn down there as well, Luke Skywalker. So I think we're gonna pass on the Sailor Moon right now just because we're fresh off SDCC. We're planning for NYCC as well as currently still planning our wedding. So probably dropping like four, $450 on a pop right now is not really ideal. Over at this booth, guys, I found a couple of different anime figures. So we have Beast Go on there, only 20 bucks. That's not bad. And that's what he looks like out of box. It's pretty cool. Get a little zoom in on his face there. We also have a Chainsaw Man Dingy, another Chainsaw Man, Makima there, as well as Power. Oh uh, gosh, I always forget his name. Is that Aki, is that his name? And then another regular Dingy, and then a Q Poskets, and some Spy Family ones. Right here, guys, we had lots more figures. We have some Mirio, uh, Dinky Kaminari, Tokoyami, Mirko there, as well as Aizawa, Toga, Bakugo, Deku, Hawks. Uh, Mina Ashido, Jiro, uh, oh, I forget his name. His name is blinking on me right now. We have Nejire up top, as well as Shinso. This really awesome Tomura. Look at the face detail. So I was just walking along and I just happened to see the Nano Gauntlet and Infinity Gauntlet. These are insane little like replica pieces, I guess. Is that what you call these? But the detail is just amazing. Check that out. I don't know which one I like more. I don't know, but they, they are really, really awesome. Surprise, surprise, guys, more Funko Pops here. So I actually found some of the Death Note Pops. We have L and Light. So you're probably wondering why he's a little cheaper. He does look to be a little banged up on the top and his window. I don't think anybody would be selling a mint light for 175. Now, we also do have some Sailor Moon. We have Tuxedo Mask, as well as Mercury and Mars. Bailey pretty much has all three. We have Triss there from The Witcher, probably one a lot of Witcher fans are looking for. Mirio, a Todoroki sign, that's pretty cool. 
They also have a CL, which I'm surprised is here because with the recent Black Butler announcement, a lot of people have been grabbing these. We also have uh, Kurogiri here, as well as Ibarra, Endeavor, lots of My Hero in general. Over here they have more Witcher and Black Butler pops. I am especially surprised that Sebastian is not gone. He is a very popular character. Killer Bee Chase, I still don't actually have that one, or the regular Killer Bee. We also have Super Saiyan God Goku, uh, Kakashi Chase, Zenitsu. Good price too, he's going for around 50-ish. Let's see, Shinso, I don't, I, I gotta stop touching everything. <laughs> Up here, Sting, Razor Ramon. Uh, Daniel Bryan in the corner there, great piece. We also have Sasha Banks, Mick Foley, Kurt Angle. Oh, wow, lots of really great WWE pops here. Bret Hart, let's see, Bailey down there, Drew McIntyre, Iron Sheik, Becky Lynch, Andre the Giant. Over on this side, guys, I found a lot of Marvel. We have Wilson Fisk from Daredevil. I do have that Matt Murdock. I tried to get him signed at MegaCon this year, but it just didn't happen. His line was insane. We also have Elektra and the Daredevil Mask Vigilante. I also have that piece. I don't have Elektra though, and I don't have Wilson Fisk. I don't know, maybe. Like I said, I've spent so much at SDCC. I don't know if I'm trying to spend a crazy amount after the autographs. Up top here, we have Black Widow, Diana Prince. Supergirl's also another one from the CW ones I want. Captain America, Agent Daisy Johnson. Batman, Wonder Woman, Shredder, Robin, a lot of great pieces here, guys. Iron Man Unmasked, Agent Carter, also a really great one. Maybe for like, that would be a really cool one for, you know, next to a Captain America. Drax here, lots of Steven Universe I'm noticing in this booth as well. We have Steven, Pearl, uh, Connie, Stevani. I never watched the show, but I think that's how you pronounce that. Rose Quartz. And then I think I saw one over here somewhere, I thought. Maybe not, maybe that's just it. Moving on though, there are much more grails. Like we have the Taurus there for the Zodiacs. Uh, Steelers, Ben, I'm not even gonna try to pronounce that last name. We also have some Gilmore Girls. That Nathan Drake piece with that GameStop sticker, I love that. Uh, Hannibal Pops, Sweet Tooth. I do have that one and it's a great piece. Jesse Pinkman, Trinity from The Matrix. Lemon Grab is really great. Oh, they have Bernadette. I don't know if we have this one. I'm gonna ask Bailey. It's only 30 bucks, so not too bad. They do have Donald Trump as well. I don't know if they have any of the other President Pops. Uh, Tenth Doctor, Springtrap from FNAF. That's a great piece. Uh, Breakfast at Tiffany. I always forget they have Pops for that. Kevin Durant, LeBron James, Freddie Funko, Agent Smith. So many pieces. They have some Powerpuff Girls right here. Ryan, oh, Wheezy with the microphone. I love that. Donald Duck there, Lord Shax from Destiny, nice piece. This is always a great set to see. We have War for the Planet of the Apes, Caesar there, love that. 30 bucks, this is such an undervalued set. And one more in this booth for fun, since I know a lot of people love FNAF, we have the Happy Frog there. And before I get asked in the comments, that is their little poster there, if you saw anything you need. I think the last booth we're gonna check out today is Pop Fandom Toys. They usually have some pretty good stuff. So as usual, they do have this big grail wall just full of crazy stuff. We have Boo there, as well as Syndrome. Steamboat Willie, Sorcerer Mickey, Mad Hatter, Superhero Kermit, regular Kermit. Um, ooh, Sandy, that is a great piece you don't see all the time. Freddy Funko, I think, is that the social media one? The first one? Do they have another one? I don't remember. We also do have Cat Noir and Ladybug. Bailey does have that set. We recently saw some protos at SDCC that she really wanted. We have one of the original He-Man, He-Man, excuse me. The Fifth Element, Mr. Incredible, Lilo, Classic Song. Oh wait, I just realized that's two of the same. Right here we have a Walter White, Bobby Singer, Brianna Tarth. I remember when this one was like a much crazy grail. Luke Skywalker with the hood, Shinra with fire, Roger Rabbit, Rocketeer. Oh, Freddy Funko Snake Eyes, that's a nice one. Madame Leota, surprised that one didn't go up more with the movie coming out. Billy right here, always a great horror piece. We also have Vito Corleone. Another pretty great horror piece is The Crow, but I'd imagine he's not gonna go too much higher with the recent ones out. Over on this side, they do have some Death Note. We have Ryuk and L, Shanks, Zoro, Soul, you don't see those all the time. Shinra with Fire again, Lord of the Rings, Toka, Goku with the con sticker. We also have the Batman Chase. Oh, John Soap, that's pretty cool, the Call of Duty pop. Right here we have Spider-Man here. I don't think I have this one in the collection. That's a great one. Conan is Chucky, Andy Bernard. Wow, that one's really $50 now. That one's really gone up. Ash the Chase, Mercy, the Blizzard one, where I think that's like the Halloween one. It's pretty neat. And then we also have some Sailor Moon. Check this out down here. We have Courage the Cowardly Dog, Kano, Steve, 
Spider-Man 2099. Oh, look at the one of the OG Optimus Prime and Bumblebee Pops. Over here they have Death the Kid from Soul Eater, one a lot of people are looking for. We also have Queen Barrel here, Alex Armstrong, Doflamingo, Jim Halpert. Oh, Robin Sparkles from How I Met Your Mother, that's great. Sailor Uranus, Asuna, Sailor Mercury, Lucy Van Pelt, oh wow, $70, wow. Undertaker there, Lagertha, another Shino, they have a couple Shinras. Oh guys, another great one they have is the Eustace Kid, that one has still been eluding me. And right next to it is Rukia, another really big grail. All right guys, we're gonna end off this video with their huge grail wall. Over here they have some really cool two packs like the Grady Twins, Bulma and Goku, Ariel and Ursula from SDCC, only 480 pieces. We also have the thing from SDCC, $2,000. Oh my gosh, the metallic paint is really cool on that one. As well as Tony Stark with the Toy Con 2013 sticker, Green Goblin, only 300 pieces, Deadpool metallic. They also have Beast Flock, Boba Fett droids, $1,900. Oh my gosh, only 480 pieces. Boba Fett, Qui-Gon Jinn, and Dr. Emmett Brown. Okay, so down here, some more Grail pieces. We have Jesse Pinkman there with that Comic-Con sticker, 700, oh my gosh. We also have Green Arrow, which is a really great price. Also, when I say, oh my gosh, it's just because that's just such an expensive pop. And then Green Arrow right here, 300 bucks. I want the, uh, I think it's a Gemini Toys uh, metallic one. That's the variation I want, but that is also a really great one. We have Dr. Doom here, the black and white. Freddy Funko as Pennywise, which is always just one of the best Freddies ever. Krusty the Clown and Homer Simpson, great ones. Down here we also have Green Goblin there on his glider, the 2016 SDCC one, Rocky Balboa. Barbosa, one of the more expensive pieces here as well, $900. And right here we have Skeletor, the Gemini's 240 piece, Superman. I do have this Peter Parker, absolutely love that in my collection. Yeah guys, again, just so many great grails in this booth. I don't know if we're picking up a grail today, but we picked up a couple things today, so let's head back home. Hey guys, so I'm now back home and we did pick up quite a few things. So. I didn't just pick up things for myself though, I picked up things for Bailey, a friend named Kelsey, and a friend Ben, which you actually saw him in uh, some of the SDCC videos, the Spider-Man guy who I kept giving Spider-Man things to. Anyways though, so I'm just gonna kinda show you the haul from the event. Again though, as you guys do know, wasn't able to get Grant Gustin, the line didn't open up later on. Very, very bummed about that. That was the main reason I went, and I did not walk out with that autograph, but, I might go tomorrow to get Deathstroke's autograph because I do want that one and I completely forgot about him. I was so focused on the Flash. Anyways though, one of the first things we picked up was actually a big grail and that is Boo here from Monsters Inc. And this, the reason I say this is a big grail is one, it's a really old piece. It's actually all the way back from, I think it is 2011. This is 12 years old and it's in immaculate condition. Now we also picked up another pretty big grail that a lot of you guys might be familiar with and that is the Miles Morales pre uh, previews exclusive, excuse me. And this is a really great piece. This one was for Ben because he was looking for it um, for a while now at a good price. And it did have a little bit of damage, so we got a little bit of a discount, but overall we got really great prices on these pieces. So thank you so much to those booth owners. Now the only things we ended up picking up for Bailey off camera was some blind bags that she wanted. So you'll probably see her open these up in a video on her TikTok or maybe her YouTube channel. So next up, I do wanna show you guys some of the autographs that I ended up picking up. So first up, we do have Killer Frost here, also known as Danielle Panabaker. She was super nice in person. She wrote her name as well as Killer Frost there. So definitely a really cool piece to add to the autograph set. And the other one we got signed was Cisco here. Another really great piece, though it would have been so much better to have all three next to each other. And I'm so disappointed because <laughs> it's like Grant doesn't come to Florida. That like at least that I know of. That is the first time I've ever seen him come to Florida. And it's just like, dang it. So now I have to do some kind of send in service or maybe buy one online. Anyways though, let's move on. Now the final autograph I did get was actually for you guys, part of my upcoming 100K stream. So if you're new here, subscribe right now so you can, uh, well, get notified about that. So I actually picked up a Zorro Inma signed here. So this is signed by Chris Sabat, the voice actor of Zorro, and it does say, I can smell booze there, um, and I let him kind of like choose the quote he wanted. And on the side here, he actually wrote, I, you can't really see it, because it's like invisible for a reason, 
you actually have to use a black light to see what he wrote. Now, as you guys do know, I ended up picking up Clayface here for about 30 bucks. Great addition to my Batman animated series set. And he does actually have some weight to him, I am noticing, but that is definitely a really cool one. So I'm one step closer. I believe in this set, I do have Batman. I have Clayface now. I think I have Robin and Joker. Oh, and then I have Phantasm and Man Bat. So I have a good majority of the set. I still need Robot Batman and the Chase, as well as Bane, Catwoman, Scarecrow, and then, ah, uh, what's his face? Uh, Mr. Freeze. So I'm still missing like seven pops. Oh my gosh. Maybe I should do a video trying to complete this set at a convention because that's a lot of pops. Our final pop pickup is something you did not see in the video up until now, and that was a lecture here from Daredevil. So this does make now four pieces I have in the Daredevil set, which do include uh, the black suit, Daredevil, as well as Matt Murdock. And then I also do have the Punisher chase and then now Elektra here. And I still just want to get Wilson Fisk and then probably a regular, you know, Dare Daredevil in his red suit. And I think I'm done with the set. Okay, so that was Tampa Bay Comic Con day one. So I didn't exactly get to show you as much of the event as I wanted to and more of the booths, just because I noticed a lot of booths were actually like blasting music. So it was really hard to actually get some recording in without me having to do like a weird voiceover, like, hey guys, look at this keychain and this key. I just didn't think it was gonna turn out, like the footage was gonna turn out very good. So I decided not to, but I did my best to show you guys a lot of the cool Funko Pop there, some of the statues, etc, etc. So hopefully this video was very enjoyable for you. I am thinking about going back tomorrow, one, to get the autograph from Deathstroke, and two, to maybe do another video where we try to complete some pops, or buy some pops from our wish list again, like over at SDCC, because you guys seem to really enjoy that. Anyways though, for now, again, thank you so much for watching, and make sure to hit the like button down below if you did enjoy, and subscribe and click that notification bell if you're new here. I do want to end it off by saying a big shout out to all the wonderful Patreon supporters of the channel. You guys rock for supporting myself and the channel. If you guys want to check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon-only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. And lastly, I want to remind you guys to make sure to follow me on all my social medias at Skittle Rampage over on Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and my Facebook page so you can stay up to date. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.